In this video, we're going to have a look at how to make a mega menu inside our Bricks Builder. And to show you how this works, under the Contact Us, I've created a very nice, simple, easy to use Contact Us solution. Uh, we have the map linking to Google, the address details, and I could have included the contact numbers and information as well. So how does this work? Well, we're using this Bricks Mega Menu extension from WP Monkey, and it's a really great plugin for building the mega menu. And if we just have a look at what the developers have said is we would like to give you a plugin to create your menus easily until the official release. So this is just an interim step until the official release of the mega menu inside Bricks Builder is available. And to show you how this works, I'm going to head over to the website. And if we go into the admin area, I'll just show you that under plugins, we only have one plugin installed, which is the Bricks Mega Menu extension. And then, of course, we have Bricks Builder as the theme. And how does this work? I'm going to head over to Bricks and I'm going to go over to Templates. And I'm just going to show you how this all fits together. So the first template we're going to have a look at is the header. So we'll edit that with Bricks. And you'll see that after you've installed that plugin and you click on the menu, the standard menu item on the left hand side here, if we move down, you'll see that we now have this mega menu option. And when you first install the uh, plugin, you will see that all the settings are grayed out. So that's pretty much what you're going to see when you first install the plugin. And to get it to work, I like to set, of course, we need to activate the mega menu. I like to set the trigger to hover. And I also like to set the menu to full width. What the information block tells us is that once you've saved your changes after updating your mega menu settings, you do need to reset Bricks Builder for the changes to take effect. So that's it. And whatever changes we've made will now be available. If we want to have a look at how to integrate a, a hover effect. So there we have a hover effect and it's showing us this address and a map. And how do we activate that? Well, first of all, let's just have a look at the templates that I have available. And you'll see that I have this mega menu contact template. And if I go into edit that, you'll see that it's the map and the address details, as you saw. And how do we activate that on the website? We'll get it to show when we hover over contact us. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm just going to pop into the preview mode to get to the front end of the website. And then what I'm going to do is open menus in the admin area of WordPress, head down here to contact us, and you'll see that you now have a new entry option here. And if you click on the mega menu dash bricks template shortcode, you'll see that you can then select an element, any one of these elements actually from here. And that will then um, appear in the mega menu. So here under contact us, we have the contact us option selected. And that means that when I'm on the website, and at the moment, I'm in the templating section. So let me move out of the template section. And if I hover over Contact Us, you will see the Contact Us content appears. To show you, if I was to edit this further, so I'm just going to, to demonstrate. All I'm going to do then is just duplicate the heading. And what I'll do is I'll just duplicate that basic text. So if I was then to update the template or for that content and I go over to the website and I refresh, hover over contact us, then you'll see that those changes have been applied. So that's um, really easy. Uh, let's just have a look here then. You know, if I see an element on the website, I have a look here and I see that oh, we have this call to action. Maybe I want to put that call to action in one of these menu items. So very easy to do. I'm going to uh, change the pages that I'm looking at here to the home page. And then I'm going to scroll down to that content element. And I'm just going to close up the structure here. So that's the call to action element. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to then save as a template. So I'll call to action menu. And the template type that we need to create is a section template. I'm going to save that as a template then. So we have it there called call to action menu. Now I'm going to head over to the menu of the website. I'm going to refresh. And then in this case, under about us, I'm going to select a template 
which is the call to action menu that we just created. And I'll just save that. And now what's nice is that when I go over to the website, I refresh the page. Uh, contact us works as normal and now I have this call to action now available under about us so that was really easy to set up the next thing that I'm going to do maybe on the about us is maybe I'm just going to add some pictures or add uh, maybe you know maybe of the team members or a message from somebody under the about us besides just this call to action button so what I'm going to do then is head over here to Bricks and I'll just call up that call to action menu that I just created. And now what I'll do is I'm going to add, um, let's see, I'm going to add another container. So we add another container and in this container I'm going to add an image. So let's add an image. and. In that image I'm going to select an image and what I'll do is I'll just choose this meeting image and um, you know maybe that container needs to be two columns so let's change that layout to two columns I'm going to move that image into the first column so it looks something like that and then in this column I'm going to add a heading and maybe we'll just do something along the lines of uh, we're standing by, by, and then let's just add a text element. So we'll add some basic text, and uh, uh, our team is ready to assist. So there's just some basic about us text. And what I'll do then is just change that typography to white or a lighter color. And in the layout, I think we'll just make sure that that is in the center. And also um, under that container. Right, so now we have that content nicely positioned. Let's save that and then let's have a look at that on the website so now when i refresh you will see the contact us is working and then we have the about us and what you'll notice immediately of course is that the image is missing and to understand why the image is missing let's just inspect that element so i hit the inspect and you'll see here that the source information is in fact incorrect this is not the source information for that image this just comes through with data image um, instead of the actual image so if i wanted to see an actual image and down here for example if i inspected that element you'll see that the image source should look like that and we're not getting that image source here on our menu item and in order to uh, correct that to have the image displayed there's a little bit of a workaround so i'm going to now uh, remove that image and i'm going to select an image and this time when I select the image, I'm going to scroll down and I'm actually going to copy the file URL to the clipboard. So I'm not actually going to insert that image. I copy that file URL to the clipboard. And now instead of an image, I'm actually going to add some code. So I insert the code element and I'm going to put in the HTML code for the image. So that will be IMG SRC equals inverted comma paste in the URL and close it off and then we'll activate and you'll see that the image does display so that image that didn't display now I'm going to remove that element so we'll delete that save that and now we're going to have a look at the website and now when I refresh you'll see that the image uh, contact us is fine and now when I click on the about us you'll see that the image is displayed uh, maybe what I also want to do is just create some space and move this down a little bit. So what we'll do then is for this container over here, I'm going to I'm just show you what we can do to make this a little bit interesting as well. So just quickly then, I'm going to, in the style here, change the background here to a lighter color. So maybe something like that. or 
maybe let's do it that color then what i'm going to do is go to the um, layout i'm going to give that some padding so we just have a little bit of in fact i'll give it margin of 20 at the top and then i'm going to give it 15 all round in terms of padding and i want to give that rounded corners so i'm going to go to borders and under border we'll head down to the bottom here give it give that the border radius um and maybe we'll just give that a border as well similar to what we have at the top and we'll just change that color then to a dark color and we'll make that a solid border so now we have that and the last thing that i'm going to do then is remove the background color so that it looks like that save and now when we refresh the page you'll see that we'll have a completely unique um, menu look so let's refresh that right now you'll see that the background is still there and that might be um that's fine if that might be uh, linked to some other styling so if i i save that and go and have a look i was expecting the background to be gone but the background is still there and that might be linked to the fact i'm not sure what that would be linked to actually so there's the section and it shows that we have a background color even though um, we don't and if i scroll down to the content element i took it from you'll see that there's obviously a duplication in ids or something and that's why the styling remains so just bear in mind that if you do convert an existing image that you might have issues um, with that styling so it would be advisable if you're going to do that then to use classes for the um, background color the whole idea was to actually create a transparent background so if we have a look here at the element now um, all right i'm going to add a class here and i'll just call this about dash back and we'll apply that to um, our call to action and what i'm going to do is make that a transparent background probably not going to have an effect because the style is linked to the id so if we have a look at that, that on the website we should still have that solid background yeah so the only way to do that then uh, just to show you um if we look at that section brxc so it ends with kfg and if we look here at that section it, so yes it, the ids are the same for both so i'm going to go to this call to action here and i'm going to remove that class and i'm going to just edit the um the id so i'll just call this menu dash about and then i'm going to save that id and we'll save that element back to the front end of the website and now you'll see that that is correct and in about us we now have a different background so very important then just if you are going to convert an existing element to a template to make sure that you then go in and change the id of that element so that when you apply styling that you get your unique styling but you can see you can create some really nice unique um, kind of background there you can take the background away or you can leave a background in but you can create pretty much anything you want in that mega menu the only issue that i did find is with the images and when you're looking at dynamic elements uh, you know if you're pulling through say some posts you're going to sit with the same image issue again where it's not going to pull through the image i haven't yet investigated how to solve that um, when you're looking at dynamic elements but there again you might have to use a php function then just to manually access the image to put it into the query so that's something that i, I haven't yet investigated but that's just then a basic uh, or a simple way that you can create a mega menu inside bricks builder and that is then using this plugin which is just an interim measure that you can access while um, the bricks Menu, mega menu is then integrated into Bricks itself.
So this is just a temporary workaround. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Um, great, yeah. Thank you for watching.